Hello everyone, I'm Marcia Baker and welcome to the Christmas challenge from Sketchnote Boss for a Sermon Sketchnote Boss. So what do you think? Do you like my tiara? tiara? Is it me? Is it me? I think it's me. So I won this last night at Bunko. Um, well, it was a women's Christmas party and I've never played Bunko before. So it's like a dice game, like um, kind of a shorter version of Yahtzee. I guess maybe you might want to say, but anyway, it was kind of fun. But anyway, I was the last one to get Bunko. So I got the tiara. So I just think I might need more tiaras is what I really think is what I think. So, but anyway, let's talk about the challenges here. So, um, I know we're kind of through the first week of December, but um, I've got a quick challenge for you, and I just want to highlight the rest of the things we're going to be doing for the rest of the month. So, I'm working, been working in the background, trying to get all of those things together so I can maybe get things posted on a uh, more frequent basis. My, my goal is to get them out on Monday or Tuesday. So, it's my goal. So, hopefully, uh, with this prep that I've been doing, I can make that happen. So, so our first challenge is uh, obviously the icon challenge and you all have been doing an amazing job i love what you're doing uh so we're just been having a lot of fun with those icons i am working on publishing uh, so after i get my next blog post on for next week i will make sure that i will get um, i'm working on get my icons done and i will publish them all in one place so um i think someone grandma is uh, working with this with her kids and so uh, with with the littles so I'm so excited for you what a great project so thanks for sharing that you're doing that and let me get all the step-by-steps done for the littles and hopefully you can really have some fun with those those grandkids so but ways to use the icon so this is what I'll pub be publishing um, and on a daily basis and then um, you know I'll publish them all at once and I'll put them in the, the members only spot so only you can get them if you're signed up for my email list but here's some other ways to use these awesome icons why are we drawing these obviously you can use them in your sermon notes because there's lots of messages on um, you know Christmas and why we have Christmas and all the things that go with it so there you know all these hopefully these icons are useful for there but you can also put them on gift tags or um, Advent or ornaments you can make homemade invites you could add them spice up your holiday menu or on your holiday recipe so i hope you are participating in our christmas cookie exchange recipe challenge which i'll talk about at the end but there's also a separate video on that um, if you look up my youtube channel so uh, lorraine so she has just been really all over this i'm loving this so this was a quilt oh i forgot lorraine you're grandmother made your aunt made I'm not so I'm sorry but um, so she's actually just hanging her um, uh, daily icons on this tree so I think that's pretty awesome very creative uh, she has also made a little advent calendar with the tags that um, in the tag so, so um, the tags were in the November folder but I went ahead and took them out in the November folder made them their own folder and they are in now in the in the November, or the, sorry, the December section of the members only page. So you could use them for an advent calendar uh, or gift tags. So I think this is so creative. So thank you, Lorraine, for sharing all that. You are amazing. So keep up, keep up those amazing ideas. So, uh, so here's an overview of the projects. So today I've got a really quick Christmas card. I think you're going to find a ton of fun. Um, really didn't take very long. So I've got a, a printable out there for you. So you can actually get two cards to a, a sheet of cardstock. Uh, next week, we're gonna do a sharing journal. And I know you're going, what is a sharing journal? So just teasing you here, my niece Miranda and I have a sharing journal. So I do some pages and I send it to her and she does some pages and she sends it back to me and I do some pages and I send it back to her and oh what an amazing blessing I just love it it's far it's a way for us to connect and stay close and I know what um so Miranda is going to be 14 so um anyway so it's a great way for you to reach out and bless somebody and they'll just be so excited that you're going to want to do this so I am actually going to show you how to make the sharing journal this particular journal that Miranda and I are using is um, is a moleskin journal, um, but I have been doing another journal with somebody else. So I'll do the big reveal next week um, with that sharing journal. And so it's a it's an accordion book that you can make. So I'll give you everything that you need to make that book. 
And week three, we're going to do a doodle gift bag. So if there's somebody that you really are wanting to bless and just make a special personalized bag, I'm going to show you how to do that. And then week four, we are going to have an ornament, a paper ornament, which is uh, basically we're going to do a paper box that turns into an ornament. And it is a goodie conveyance. So it's perfect for a size of a truffle or a small toy about that size. Um, or you can put other little things in there. You can probably roll some cash in there. And you could send it to me. That'd be great. <laughs> anyway, um, and don't forget our recipe exchange. So that ends next Saturday. So got a lot going on. So, um, but I hope that I have really chosen projects where you do not have to go out and buy anything. So um, I'm going to post this. So that made this overwhelming, but let's look at the list in general. So this is the consolidated list. So hopefully it is all things you have around your house and you do not have to go buy anything. That is my hope. Um, Cause sometimes I just think we're a little overwhelmed with all the stuff we have. So let's use up what we have. So obviously my printable, so cardstock, uh, markers, maybe even some chalk for the gift bags. If it's a brown paper bag, some regular string. If you're going to mail your in, uh, car, um, Christmas cards, you're going to need some envelopes, some invitation size, uh, postage stamps for your Christmas cards. For the sharing journal, we need some heavy cardboard. So we could be talking about like a cardboard box kind of cardboard or just a very stiff piece of cardboard where you could put it on your lap and, and use it to write on, uh, like as a like a lap desk kind of thing. So that's what we're looking for. But you want to make sure it's not too dense that you can't cut it. So we need to be able to cut it. Um, something smaller than eight and a half by 11, probably need two of them. Uh, I'm probably going to do like a six by six journal, um, but you could maybe want to do a five by seven journal. So whatever size you decide you want to do, you're going to need two pieces of cardboard for that. You're going to need enough scrap fabric to cover it. Don't have to match. Um, and then we're going to need paper that we're going to fold back and forth. So you're going to need a fairly long uh, length of paper. So if you have a roll of paper, that'd be best. But if not, if you just have sheets of paper, I will show you how to put those together um, with some washi tape. So if you have washi tape, um, put that together and it's going to look amazing. We are going to secure our sharing journal with a button. So you need one button and some really rather thin ribbon uh, to be the uh, thing that closes the journal. So hopefully you don't have to go out and buy anything. You've got all of that. Uh, you, you are going to need some strong glue like Gorilla Glue or um, maybe a glue gun. I'm really not sure that um, like stickers or um, <clears throat> like a glue, glue stick is going to do it. So you're going to need some pretty strong glue. And that's what you need for the sharing journal. And then the gift bag is just a plain gift bag. So it could be white, could be brown, any color, you know. I get a ton of gift bags and so I'm a very cycler. So nothing goes in the trash. I put it in the gift bag box and grab it back out when it's time to, to um, give a gift. So if you have, hopefully you've got one of those laying around, you don't have to go buy one. Uh, and, uh, and for that, we will just need markers and um, like a black pen and maybe some color markers. Or if you have a, like a brown paper bag, like some white chalk would just be really stunning. So hopefully, again, really simple. You don't have to go out and buy anything. And then the last one is a uh, an ornament. So we need cardstock. We need ribbon enough, um, probably like quarter-inch ribbon. Uh, or string would be just fine, uh, enough to hang our uh, ribbon. Oh, I'm looking, and I don't see paper punch. We need a paper punch so we can put holes in the top so we can hang our ribbon, uh, scissors, um, markers to color our ornament, and... If you want, you don't have to, but it's a great, would be a great little gift if you were, you know, giving somebody a truffle or, um, you know, don't know how to give somebody cash or um, maybe, you know, got littles and you just put a little Lego car in there or a matchbox car, matchbox, I said that right. So just something really small. Um, this might be just a fun, fun way to, to, to give a little gift. So, so that's the supply list and I will again publish both of these um, on that members only page. So here is our Christmas card that we're doing. So ho, ho, ho. So what I've done, I've got a printable with three H's. And so, uh, so I know a lot of you have been going, gee, you know, what, why am I doing all these patterns? Because now we, you've been doing them long enough. You can just grab them 
and do some patterns. And you can see I kept things very simple. I said some lines and hearts and dots. And the little, maybe little um, <clears throat> spirals. But pretty much I just kept that the same on all three of my H's. So I'd say 2020 would have liked a little brighter green. I think maybe a little brighter Kelly green uh, had I found this color sooner would have been nice. And then this side is just blank. So, oh my gosh, so what do I do? So, but you can do anything you want. So I just thought wreaths would be really fun, but you could just make them ornaments. You could do Santa faces or reindeer faces, um, anything circular. So everybody gets that it's a no, totally works. So I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. So um, so I have, a, I'll show you a little trick. So for this, I just draw little leaves, right? And actually I've got a sheet of, um, ideas for leaves and wreaths I'll show you here in just a second which is also a printable that you can grab on my website so uh, but this one I want to show you specifically how I did this so you'll notice basically I just took my pen and I went around and around and around several times but how did I do that without getting my little holly all messy and the way I did that was I used a post-it note so I put a little post-it note down over my holly and then I just took a pen and went drawing around 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 several times and then I took the post-it note off and then this area was all clean. So I drew my holly in and then I kind of just drew a couple little lines to kind of convey that the circle goes around and then you got holly. So, so anyway, simple card, so simple. And uh, you know, so if you're, um, you could do this once and then go get it copied or scan it and then go get it printed. Or, you know, if there's just a couple people that you really want to bless, or maybe you want to invite somebody somewhere, um, it's just a great little card. So hopefully you have a lot of fun with that. And I think this is a great little card that your kids could pick up on this as well. So I would love to see somebody do um, like Santa faces or ornaments or, or see what you do. I just can't wait to see. You guys are just such a creative group. I can't wait to see what you do. All right. And so here's that printable. So you can see I've got a lot of wreath ideas. And so if you're just going to do a, a border, so here's some more leaf ideas and then Here's some various ways to make leaves. And so hopefully that'll be helpful when you uh, do this little project. Uh, you do need A2 envelope sizes. So the four and three quarters by five and three quarters. So that's the invitation size envelopes that you need for your Christmas cards. Um, and here's what the Christmas cards look like. So there's big fat O H's. And so this is the back, this is the front, and I just put that O right there. So, but in reality, this O is not there on your printable. And um, then you can draw in your own O's. So this card's a little smaller. I did, this is a full size sheet of paper. So my O's are fairly large, but uh, if you're gonna be doing several of these, I thought you don't have time for that. So I just move my O's a little smaller. Maybe this is the bottom of a, uh, a Dixie cup or like a bathroom Dixie cup, something like that, something smaller, maybe an inch or two inches at the bottom that you can draw a circle around. And then do your ho, ho, ho. I still can't wait to see what you guys come up with. And don't forget to uh, submit a, a sketch noted recipe. It does not have to be a cookie, just some kind of treat. Could be an appetizer, anything special for the holidays. Uh, submit that by Sunday, December 14th, 2019. And I will get that all together and publish our first annual Christmas cookie recipe exchange book. So anyway, thanks for joining me today. Uh, I'd love it if you subscribed. Uh, I try and post a weekly challenge. And uh, we are here to learn to be a visual thinker and uh, expand our visual vocabulary and ultimately really produce some awesome sermon sketch notes. So until the next video, have an awesome day and I, and do a little sketch noting today. Bye-bye.